Boston College has lacrosse's version of the triplets, Sam, Dempsey, and Kenzie. The seniors are unequivocally three of the best players the game has to offer. They just happen to be on the same offense, terrorizing opposing defenses. Sam has the tuorton and insane stick skills. Dempsey, she's a freak athlete who dominates the full field. Kenzie has the vision and the fire of a two-sport college superstar. Today, we dive into who these players are on and off the field, how they're making BC a destination for women's lacrosse, and the expectations they have to win it all in 2019. Kenzie, I'm going to start with you. One word to describe BC women's lacrosse. Um, culture. Why? Because that's what we base our entire team off of. Um, just on and off the field, it's all about our culture. <laughs> Dempsey. Uh, I would say family probably, um, just because we're together all the time and not just like the cliche, like we're a family, but like we actually generally all really like each other and embrace each other as, as we are. Now you two are both seniors. You both have the same major <laughs> and you live together. Yep. So you are essentially like family then, right? Yeah. <laughs> How about you for, for, for Sam? Um, chemistry, I think. I think we like, at least on the field, like we're always are like together. We're always on the same page with like offense and defense. So, but like off the field as well. But he pulls it back, has an opportunity, goes backside, shot, score! <laughs> and Kenzie Kent, the dual athlete here on the Heights gets on the scoreboard. Kids these days have a hard enough time playing two sports seriously, like in middle school and high school. Mm -hmm. And for you to do it at the college division one level, it's really, really impressive. What was the hardest moment during this last five year stretch for you? Uh, probably last spring, just not doing anything not uh, being with the lacrosse team uh, when they were doing so incredibly well. Um, that was probably the hardest part for me, just kind of being okay with not doing anything. And um, yeah, it was, it was definitely nice for a few weeks there, but it got a little bit um, boring and... You're just used to go, go, and, go? Yeah, just wanted to be a part of something. What made you decide to concentrate on hockey for a straight year and then lacrosse for a straight year? Um, well, that, that decision was kind of hard because I didn't know what I um, wanted to do last. Like, I didn't know how I wanted to split it up because our junior year was obvious, or my junior year was obviously really good, the best lacrosse year BC and I've had personally. So um, I, w I thought there's a lot of momentum going with lacrosse. So I wanted to play lacrosse last year, but then I realized I wouldn't really be able to come back um, and play hockey after a full hockey year off. You guys were so close last year to winning a national title. Dempsey, now that Kenzie's back in the lineup, like what is the, like the glaring difference between last year and this year on the field? Yeah, um, well adding Kenzie is just another really big threat, so there's another thing that teams have to be aware of, that last year we had a lot of um, really good attackers too, but Kenzie's just like on another level, so it just it really brings a lot of attention to her and kind of um, just makes defense have to worry about her a lot. When I talk to people, they say that you're playing on a, another level. You have seven goals against Northwestern. You and Sam up there on the draw together. Why do you think you are playing now at a completely different stratosphere than even the years past, which you were really good? Um, I just think it's more just confidence and my teammates are so supportive and just kind of always like pushing me to be better and also giving me like that positive um, feedback and encouragement to like go to goal and stuff like that. Your coach, Acacia Walker, told me that one of the strength coaches said that you were one of the most impressive athletes <laughs> he's ever been around. When you watch her play or you train with her, Sam, like what is it about her that just is, is glaring in terms of her just freakish she athleticism. She just like doesn't stop ever. Like even if we're just like jogging around, like <laughs> she is like booking it and I, like, I'm like behind her. Like, <laughs> but no, she like always like want, she always pushes herself and like 
to be the best she can be, which is awesome, and like it pushes our entire team. But like she just never stops. The Eagles approaching with Arsenal. Pass right out in front, and Abuzo makes no mistake. I watch your your split dodges. It's kind of scary <laughs> behind the cage. Really, it's nasty. If I was to ask you though, your favorite move, what is it? Um, like a, I guess like a jump stop or something. Like just like going underneath the person, like a head fake and going underneath. Have you seen Michael Sowers from Princeton play? Yes. Who's got a better split, Sam Apuzo or Michael Sowers? Sam. Not even, <laughs> not even I'm question. Close. <laughs> How about you, Dempsey? Favorite move like if, if you're out on the field you have time you have space it's one-on-one -on -one. what are you doing um i would say a three-step split explain what a three-step split so is like you fake the like the first way fake the second way and then go back the gotcha first way. jab 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 yeah, kind of exactly. how about you favorite move um probably like rolling under my defender when i'm on the crease so going up and then rolling like that <laughs> <laughs> you know, the commitment of lacrosse and school, it's a lot, right? And then you try to, like, funnel in some social life and be college girls. What's, like, your favorite thing, Kenzie, to do off the field, non-sport related? Um, I, I love watching TV. <laughs> you do? What's your yeah. favorite show? Uh, my favorite show? I watch documentaries. I, I'm, like, I watch Power, Ray Donovan. Ray Donovan's awesome. Yeah. Who was the um, who was the one that had the candy crush addiction? Oh, that's me. That's you? Are you <laughs> yeah. still playing? Yeah. She was bragging to me that the other day in class. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say this. In class, we were watching a movie, and she beat 11 levels. In class? In class. During the movie? Yep. Yeah. What's, like a, what's a good accomplishment in Candy Crush? What do, you, what do you try to hit? I guess, like, how many levels I can beat, like, in a week. And what, what would that be? <laughs> My, uh, and during so class, you did, I look you, like a loser. <laughs> no, it's not. I mean... <laughs> That's life. People do um, that kind of stuff. I think my highest is like 56 or something. 56? And you did 11 in one class? Yeah. We're not going to say the class. I don't want okay. to the yeah. life. The winner of the 2018 Tawaraton Award is Sam Apuzo from Boston College. This award really goes to my teammates. They push me. They make me better. They are the reason I'm up here right now. So thank you. you this is for you. If someone told you when you were a middle school kid on Long Island that you were going to win the Tawarton one day, what would your response have been? You're lying. <laughs> what was the moment last year that you started hearing buzz that you could be in consideration to win that award? Until I like, had the award in my hand, I never thought I was going to win it, even being up there. Um, I, I, I don't know, I, I guess, yeah. How has life changed since? <laughs> I'm a different person. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... Uh, Instagram followers? I, yeah, yeah. Did, a lot of Instagram did, followers. Did your Instagram followers go up? She had to really? go on public. I, I'm public now. What, you used to be private? Yeah, I can't do it anymore. She was tired of accepting all <laughs> the followers. Is that why you went public? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I'm not hiding anything. <laughs> I, I, honestly, like, when you, won, when you won the award, how many more followers did you get right away? Go up a couple thousand? Like, yeah. Right away? Yeah. I'm not even like big on Instagram at all. Like, I'm not good at taking pictures. <laughs> What's been the hardest part about having to deal with like to wart on noise and coming back and doing it again? I think it's just, it, it kind of not stresses me out, but it's kind of a lot. It's, it's pressure, but I think it's good pressure in a sense. But we kind of have this like thing this year that we're not really kind of giving into like all the media and all that yeah. stuff. It's like we're focusing on our team and what we're going to do each day. So that's been helpful to have that kind of mentality. So what was your reaction when you found out you had to do this? <laughs> that was tough. <laughs> Did you no. try to say no? <laughs> no. No. You know, Sam, you've had some experience with playing for the national team and playing in the U19 as an alternate, but now playing for the women's senior national team. When you put that 
jersey on. What's that experience like for you? It's incredible. I mean, it's something that like you always want to you want you want to do. You always want to represent your country. I think it's like such an honor. Um, so being able to like put it on, put the jersey on is such an incredible feeling to have. Dempsey for you, Team USA. Yeah, um, it's kind of just like a dream. I kept having to like pinch myself, being like, "Is this real?" Because it's just something I've always kind of wanted and like like aimed for. Um, and just playing with some of the best players in the country is just like incredible. What would you say, Dempsey? The biggest difference playing for the national team within the confines of those rules, those players, and then the college game? Um, I would say the speed. It's just a lot faster, and it's kind of like go, go, go. Um, and it's like when we were playing, it wasn't as much like um, like we didn't like have plays and stuff or anything like that. So that was just a big difference too. A little freestyling? Yeah, exactly. Who was the one player that you were kind of like, wow, I can't believe I'm playing with her? Um, probably Katrina Dowd when we were there. Yeah, it's cool. She's from my hometown. Is she? Yeah, she's from Yorktown. She has some of the craziest stick skills Insane. you've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. So when you when you hear like national championship, national championship, like the noise is the noise and you can have all of like the defense mechanisms to deal with it. Is it something that you all like embrace more or is it something that you kind of just not like to talk about? What's the locker room like, like when that comes up? Um, well, for me and I think for them too, it's something like we've always wanted. So we've it's been in the back of our heads since we were all freshmen each year. That's that's why we came here. We want to win a national championship. Uh, but for this season specifically, like Sam said earlier, we've just really been trying to take it day by day. Um, and I think that's how we're able to eliminate that noise is if we just have the best day we can each day and um, grade ourselves at the end of it. Um, but it's, I think we're definitely all thinking about it, and you can't ignore that. Yeah. So when you do, like, think about it or talk about it, what typically comes to mind? That we lost. <laughs> and How but, did that experience, you think, change the way that you approach this season? Like, if you go back in time to think about last year to the present day, like, that experience, how does that help fuel? I mean, I think there's always, like, points and times you like think back and you're like oh I wish I changed this and that but I think it's just a motivator almost to get back to we where we were and get back to that game so if we do have that opportunity again we don't make those mistakes we don't have those bad decisions in that sense but um, I think this being our last year and like our last chance at it it's I think that's what's pushing us more than like thinking about last yeah. Year's game. Not wanting this year to end? Yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, all three of you are, are awesome, and the contributions that you've made to the sport are incredible. And the game of lacrosse is better when there are role models out there. And I know you all don't realize it because you're in the midst of it. But as much as those girls at Northwestern were role models, for all of you, you're doing the same for the next generation and the game of lacrosse is, is better as a result. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much.